Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the physics of blood pressure in the mercury column. All right, so let's review how we get blood pressure. Well, blood pressure is always given to us in two numbers, and the first one on top is a systolic, and that's the pressure inside your heart when your heart's beating. And the bottom number is a diastolic, and that's the pressure inside your heart in between heartbeats. So it makes sense that the top number is gonna be a little bit higher when your heart's actually beating, the pressure, and then it's a little bit lower when your heart's re relaxing in between beats. So a healthy blood pressure is anything that's lower than 120 over 80. And the units that we use for blood pressure are always in millimeters mercury. And what units, what uh, millimeters mercury are is really just a unit for describing pressure. So it's not special, it's not a unique unit, it's just a way of describing pressure. So another common pressure unit is ATM or atmospheres. But for blood pressure, historically, we just always use millimeters of mercury. And that can sound like a weird, like what does that mean, millimeters of mercury, uh, in terms of pressure, um, until you know where it comes from. And it actually comes from this experiment uh, it's called a mercury column, and chemists and scientists have been using it for a long time, and it's still kind of used today to show uh, air pressure. And what it is, is you basically have a pool of mercury, and then you have a little uh, tiny tube of mercury up here, and you take your tube of mercury and you flip it over into the pool, and some of the mercury starts to uh, you know, it starts to leak out and come down the tube. And this is completely closed. So in here is a vacuum, there's no air. But then at a certain point, uh, the mercury stops. And this will happen with any liquid. And you've probably noticed it if you fill up a straw full of water and then put your finger on top, uh, you can uh, stop all the liquid from leaving. And so this is a vacuum and this is completely stationary. And this length right here, from where it stops to the bottom of the pool, is always 760 millimeters. And so because we do this experiment with mercury, we call it uh, millimeters of mercury. And so this is the origin of mercury and how we used it as a pressure unit. And we, it actually stops because at 760 milliliters, the air pressure pressing down is enough to balance out the gravi gravitational pressure of this mercury wanting to come down. So at exactly this length, these two things cancel out and so you have a standstill, nothing moves. And so 760 millimeters is the level of pressure we have at uh, sea level. And so that's where it came from and we continue to this day to use it as a system of measuring pressure and we just happen to use it uh, for measuring blood pressure. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been the physics of blood pressure and the mercury column.